Hey artists, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the Christmas gifts I received and I'm going to draw a winter stag. First off, I got these body chan dolls. I got the male and the female. It also came with the accessories. It's pretty cool. You have these different styles of hands. That way you can practice the position, drawing them and all of that. And I was very excited to receive these. So that's going to help out a lot in my anatomy when drawing people. I also got these Dr. P.H. Martin set 1 and set 2. India inks, they're beautiful. They have these vibrant colors during Inktober. It was my first time using ink. I used a basic black one. But I wanted to get a more colorful version. So I decided to make myself my personal Christmas gift. I got myself these. So in a few minutes, I'm just gonna go ahead and make this paint this drawing that I have right here. But I wanna show you one more gift that I got from my son. It's been years since I've used acrylic paints and I had decided to go to Joann's and purchase these for myself and my oldest son took me. And once we were in the register, he was like, Mom, that's your Christmas gift. That was so great. Oh, that was so sweet of him. Well, anyway, during this holiday season and every holiday season we all know that it gets crazy the shopping you want to get something great for your loved one fat friends and families and um i work in retail i usually don't do any of the cashiering that's not my position i do other stuff but i was caught up to the front end and it was on monday mondays we usually give 10 percent discounts to senior citizens and well I go up there reluctantly because I do not like <laughs> I actually hate going on a register but need it be you could count on me so I go up front and I'm ringing up different items for different people um, giving the senior citizens their 10% discount and this lady comes up and I look at her and I gave her the 10% discount. Uh, what I didn't know was that she wasn't a senior citizen. She looked much older than her age. So I tell her, here ma'am, I gave you your discount. And she asks me, what discount? And I told her, your senior citizen discount. <laughs> so you could imagine the look on her face. But it wasn't only that. We had a real huge line and she just flipped out and made this show because I gave her 10% discount without her being a senior citizen and she looked older than 55 so she got offended because I thought she was a senior citizen I got offended because I'm looking at like well, if somebody gives me 10% off, I'm happier because I'm saving money. And she started to make a show. People were looking. They're like, what the hell is going on? So she left insulted. She said that she had felt she had never been so offended in her life or anything like that. And I was like, seriously, you know, it's not my fault that you look older than what you are. You know, I, I didn't tell her that, but that was my thought. I mean, she looked like if she was run over by a truck or two. And, um, I don't know. People get offended about everything. You know, you can't say anything. They feel like if they, they're the only ones that have the right to express themselves, that the customer's are always right. But... It was also, it was a f kind of funny situation because the two customers that were behind her that I also took care of that heard everything, they were just laughing about it. They were like, it's something silly. It's a simple mistake. You know, I also asked her, you want me to charge you the regular price or you, you could either complain about that 
that you feel offended or you could feel grateful that I gave you a 10% discount. I could void that out and charge you the regular price. So she ended up with, with the 10% but still feeling offended and left the store pissed off at me. <laughs> oh well, shit happens. Anyway, I think that people nowadays look for a reason to feel offended, and it shouldn't be that way. I mean, I could get offended just because I don't like this person's point of view or whatever, but I, I don't. I'm the type of person that I have a funny sense of humor, I like laughing and everything. But people, like, I don't know, they've taken the fun out of Christmas and everything, and... They feel offended because of the song White Christmas, because of this, because of that. And I'm like, well, get offended about Frosty the Snowman because he ain't wearing no pants, you know? And, um, I don't know. I, I just laugh at the silliness. I mean, you have to be politically correct. And if you think I'm a politically correct person, you're in the wrong channel. I'm not. I am politically incorrect. I say what's on my mind and I respect people's points of views and everything, but don't try to shove it down my throat or get angry at me because I don't agree with your point of view. Let's just agree to disagree and be happy, move on. And just learn to accept another person's point of view. You know, I, could, I don't have to agree with your point of view. And you don't have to agree with mine. At work, with my co-workers, we have a great relationship. We're people from different races, different backgrounds, different religious beliefs. And... We could actually sit down and talk about social issues and crack up about it. There's a lot of there's a lot of places where we, we call it, and, I, and I think we could do that because we value our friendship above all this pettiness uh, about politics, about religion, about arguing about things that that we really don't agree on. So, if you have a friend, you have a family, you have somebody that that you love but has a different point of view, respect that. You know, respect that and continue loving that person. That person, just because they have that point of view doesn't mean that that makes them them. You know, we're all unique individuals and we have the right to have different thoughts. You don't become a thought police like a lot of people. You don't have to do that. Learn to be happy. If you don't like what the channel is saying or a station, whatever, change the station and be happy. You know, stop complaining about it. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry for this little rant. Um, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will see you soon in the next video. And if you got offended because of my small rant, good. Get offended. You have a right to. Have a blessed day. See ya. Bye.